Hello everyone, welcome back. I've noticed a growing interest in measurement programs, so I thought it would be helpful to walk you through creating a simple one. If you're looking to get started with measurement programming, this is the video for you. Today, we'll dive into an ABC alignment using Calypso, but don't worry, the concepts can be applied to any measurement software. Let's jump right in and start building. First, let's start Calypso and open a CAD model. Okay, now let's make it solid and let's heal it. Leave correct boundary curves checked and check also simplification and set a tolerance of 1 micron. Next step of course is to open the drawing and see what it is asking us to do. And so we have datum A, the center plane from these two surfaces, datum B, the cylinder from here and datum C, the other cylinder from here. That is going to give us also the orientation of the part. Since this is a simulation, the first thing we are going to do is to set our part on the CMF. And to do this, we have to go to Planner, Measurement Plan Simulation. Now go to Modify CAD Entity button and we will just have to set the location of the part on the table of the CMF. And we will select the part, select on which axis we want to drag it and just click and drag on the blue arrow that appears on the CAD model. Then click apply. Let us do the same for the next two axes. And now we have to rotate the part on the X axis because I want to have access to all the surfaces from the part. Now we can see that the part does not have the axis as the CMM does. And I do recommend having the axis of the CAD as the axis of the CMM in the simulation because it will be easy for you to work like this and you will most definitely make less mistakes on the navigation of the part. So I will change the axis of the CAD model. To do this go to CAD, Modification, CAD Model Transformation and here I will change the X axis 90 degrees in order for the Z axis to be facing up just like the CMM axis. Now you might find out that the simulation of the CMM is not quite right. But don't worry, just close the simulation and run it back up and you will see that everything is fine. Or you just have to make small adjustments like I'm doing right now. I just have to rotate the part for it to stay as I want. There you have it. Now it is time to create the elements for the base alignment. And the way I decided to approach datum A is to make first a circle on this cylinder. This will be my help circle. After this, I will create the plane. Let's set single point strategy for the circle. And after this, let's create a circular strategy for the plane. Take the X and the Z actuals from the center of the circle. And let's take its diameter and add 10 millimeters on the formula to make sure our plane will be touched according to the cylinder each time. 
even if it's not concentric to the axis of the part. Good. Now we have to change the angle of the measuring head to measure also the other side and do exactly the same thing on the parallel side as we did with this side. After this is done, let's rename all of our features for a good transparency and find them easily. And going further with the alignment, we have to create datum B, the cylinder from the middle. And since my stylus system is only 50 millimeters long and the cylinder is 70 millimeters, I have to approach the cylinder from both sides. So I will make three sections that will be measured from the Y axis plus and angle A90 B90. Then I will create another two sections that will be measured from Y axis minus and with angles A90 B minus 90. Good. Staying in the same working plane, I will construct datum C, the cylinder from the top. But I will approach it first by taking a seven point circle on the surface where datum C is in order to catch the correct actual values from datum C. As you can see, I will use the X and the Z axis of the circle to measure the cylinder. Since the drawing is asking for a true position on datum C, I will create a scanning strategy on it. And leave it like this. And now let's create datum A, the symmetry from A1 and A2. We will also create intersections from datum B and A and intersections from datum C and A. With these two intersections, we can create a 3D line and use it in the base alignment like we will see later on. Now let's make the icons look a little smaller from view and uncheck large icons and let's select all the features and create a group called base alignment elements. And we can now move to the creation of the alignment as it is stated in the drawing. So we can go with datum A, the plane, this will take away three degrees of freedom, two rotations and one translation. Then we will have the 3D line created from the intersection of datum BA and CA. This takes away the orientation. Then we set the origin of the X axis on intersection BA, Y axis origin on datum A, the plane, and Z axis origin again on intersection BA. Or we can set intersection CA as the orientation and datum B cylinder as origin in X and Z axis. Either way, it's correct. 
Now let's set up a clearance cube in order for the simulation to work and set the clearance group for each element. All that remains now is to check if all the elements work. Hmm, now let's just adjust some values on the help circles that they seem to be far away from the planes so let me bring them closer and adjust also the strategy if needed. And if we are at this part, we will check the strategy and the normals for all the elements. Now that things are all set up, we can run again the elements to check the base alignment and we are done with the alignment. If you want to keep watching until I finish making all the elements and characteristics of this measurement program, click the link below to go to my Patreon channel or click the link to see the full video on the members page from YouTube. If not and everything is clear for you then please leave a like, subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet and don't forget until next time learn as much as you can.